Gracias por ver la esquina de Jody. Thank you for watching Jody's Corner. YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. We are back with back to back top tens. You know you can't have a top 10 best list without a top 10 worst list. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Honorable mentions for the top 10 worst lists I have here. Kong Skull Island. You god dang straight. Peter Jackson's 2005 King Kong destroys this movie in every aspect. This was boring. John Goodman went and Samuel Jackson was cast away. And Brie Larson could not carry this film. I have another one. Mother is another honorable mention. This movie was in my honorable mentions list for my best movies of 2017 because I'm that mixed on it. As a critic, it's a masterpiece. Personally, it's trash filth. But it's, when I put it together, I'm gonna honorable mention them both on both lists, to be fair. Bright with Will Smith and Joel Edgerton and David Ayer. Looked like a Suicide Squad movie, felt like a Suicide Squad movie. Graded like a Suicide Squad movie. Started off really good, really entertaining. I will say this. Uh, I like the seriousness of it. I like the rated R aspect. I like that. But it got stupid and kooky in the middle and, and especially at the end. It built up a world that I wanted to see in the first 20 minutes and tore that very same world down to the ground, lit it on fire, and then pissed on it to put the fire out. Bad film. But not bad enough to make my top 10. I will say Joel Edgerton was the best part of that movie. He made me actually care for an orc. <laughs> All right, and the last, oh, I have, oh, the last uh, honorable mention I have is gonna shock a lot of people because freaking is my list. Life, life. Yes, that Sony movie about outer space. Ryan Reynolds and uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. That movie, yeah. Miss me. Movie, movie sucked. Movie, I could tear that movie apart. I could make a video. I didn't watch it and review it, so I watched it when I got on 4K. And oh my God, does this movie rely on our on our on our willingness to accept cliche bullshit? It's the, this is one of the most cliche films of 2017, trying to take itself seriously, but it doesn't. It's a joke within a serious movie. They didn't know what they wanted to do. It is disrespectful to be mentioned in the same breath as Interstellar and The Martian. This is a joke of a movie and it's trash nonetheless. And you need to take your brain out of the equation to buy this movie and enjoy it, in my opinion. Because when you start to use your brain as shit, uh, freak the movie. I, I've given it too much time on my honorable mentions. Coming in at number 10, we have another bad movie. And that's Baywatch. Dwayne The Rock Johnson comes over here with Zac Efron to be buff and shit, doing shit that he shouldn't, shouldn't do. He wasn't really funny in this film at all because it kind of threw me off because of Central Intelligence, he was actually funnier than Kevin Hart. I was expecting to see some of that, but no, he was on this macho swag suave shit that I didn't really buy. Threw a couple of jokes out there that, I, that didn't land. Zac Efron in this movie was nothing but female eye candy. The script, it was bad. The jokes were bad. The timing was terrible. Overall, it was just like, what the freak is up with this movie? The CG sucked when the hell, it, the, the, the story was just dumb. I'm not buying this shit. Just waste a waste freaking movie. Uh, Baywatch number 10 sucks. Number nine, Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. Now, the reason why this movie, this garbage trash movie is not higher on my freaking worst list is because this movie is self-aware. It knows it's trash. It knew it was trash when it came out. And because it, it, it knows it's trash, it started to do things that I laughed at. It was <laughs> some of the over the top things that you enjoy from Fast and the Furious. Oh yeah, it took it there and then some. This mother freaking Triple X was just, Chuck Norris, he was Batman. He was the overachieving guy just because he's Triple X. And it was actually funny watching some of the shit that happened in this film. Even though it was stupid and asinine, I still respect it for being self-aware and knowing it's trash. That's the problem with other movies that are on my list that we'll get to, but that's it. All right, coming in at number eight, Snatched. <sighs> what's her name? Uh, Goldie Hawn is, plays the mother of, uh, what's the one that makes queef jokes? The, the the chubby uh, white actress, the comedian. Oh, shoot. It's crazy. I forgot her name. But it doesn't freaking matter. Her ain't feeling her. She couldn't carry this movie. She was whack. She was so unattractive in this film. It, it's disgusting. I wanted to puke in my mouth. Like, some of the stuff that she was saying, some of the things that she was doing, that shit is disgusting. I don't want to see that shit. On top of that, she can't act. The script was bad. 
It was a joke. Nothing made sense. I didn't care. None of it was believable. It was just a bad movie. This is a bad movie to take your mom on Mother's Day to go see. It just wasn't funny at the end of the day. Freak this movie. Coming in at number seven. Uh, hey, guys. All you guys who thought Prometheus was awesome leading up to another sequel that would be even better? Because really, really Scott knows what he's doing, right? Wrong. Alien Covenant is a trash garbage film that actually took all of your Prometheus thoughts and did this. It did Last Jedi on them. Oh, you want this? You want that? You think? Uh, all that shit wiped away. I have never seen. Well, actually, I have, but only seen one time in my life where a movie said, "Hey, everything that you guys thought from the first, you think you're gonna get in the second, huh? Let's connect those two together." No, shotgun blows the shit up. This is a terrible movie. From the, you don't care about any of the characters. The freaking well, David Fassbender. I mean, Michael Fassbender in this. Both of them. Some of the boringest shit that I've seen in my life, man. I mean, this movie was a snooze fest. The freaking characters were bad, didn't care about it. I mean, Danny McBride was like the best part of this film, and he shouldn't have been. He was a freaking joke. Freak me, miss me with this movie. Coming in at number six, Daddy's Home 2. Shout out to Mel Gibson for coming back to Hollywood, but this was the wrong movie you should have came back to, bruh. I understand that you're trying to get back in Hollywood, you know, after that shit you said, bruh. I understand, man, and me being half black, I understand, you know, you know, freak you, but I love you, dog, because Mel Gibson is one of the best directors in Hollywood. Hacksaw Ridge was an amazing film, but that has nothing to do with this movie. This movie was a dumpster fire piece of trash for families. That's what makes it even worse. You made this garbage for families. You put stuff in this film. I actually seen a screening for this on the Paramount lot four months ago, and I just didn't even care to review it. I just didn't care. This movie was garbage. Uh, the story's dumb. John Cena was whack. Uh, Will Ferrell's not funny. He's garbage. Um, it, it, this movie was weird, whack. Had some freaking homosexual stuff with a with a little boy. I mean, freak. If you're gonna have, don't show boys kissing girls. Don't show them kissing boys kissing boys. Freak that shit. They're kids. Leave that shit alone, wait till they're older. Get that shit out of my face. Daddy's Home 2 is garbage because it's just not funny. It's supposed to be a comedy and it's not. Well, it is a comedy, but it's not funny. It's one of those comedies that aren't funny. This is basically Ride Along 2, but the white version. Mel Gibson, you deserve better and I think you could do better. Mark Wahlberg, you neffed up. All right, shout outs to uh, the number five movie because number five is way worse than this because once we go to top five, these movies start to get really bad. So coming in at number five is a movie that nobody's seen. I'm going to name this movie, and unless you're a subscriber of Jody's Corner, you probably haven't even seen the review. This movie is called Till Death Do Us Part. This is a movie that came out a couple of months ago. It's a freaking black stereotype bullshit. Let me throw this at you. Freaking trash drama. Lifetime BET special piece of shit where this black woman gets the sheep beat out of her husband and she stays and, and then decides to fake her death and not find out that her husband was gonna find her because the freaking way they faked the death was the stupidest, dumbest shit ever. This movie, script is dumb, the directing is terrible, they use different cameras who had, that had different resolution, you could tell they looked like they used drone footage from a freaking drone, shit was bad. The crops was different, the, 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 you could see the, 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 the tone was different when they changed cameras. They didn't have two cameras. They didn't have two high quality cameras to use on this freaking movie, bruh. Shit is trash, man. Acting was bad. All across the board, just a bad, stupid movie. This is a college made movie that wouldn't freaking even get top three in a freaking college festival. This is just a bad, dumb, stereotype piece of shit movie, and I swear. And they put makeup, they cake makeup on the black women. Press their hair out. Make them look as dollrific as possible. I have never seen someone get out of the shower with a full face of makeup. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, man. <laughs> get out of the bed, wake up in the morning. Mm, full face of makeup and hair pressed. What kind of shit is that? Freak this movie, man. Y'all go watch that if you want to get pissed off. But a lot of black women will love it. Coming in at number four. Jeepers Creepers 3. <laughs> <sighs> the reason why Jeepers Creepers is not number one on this list because if it, if this if I didn't laugh at this movie so much because how bad it was, this movie I had so much hype for this movie. It was only a, it was only released for one day at one time, and it was at a seven o'clock show across the country in a, a few select cities. That's how bad it was. It couldn't even barely get to theaters, and I didn't I didn't think it was because this fool was a douchebag piece of shit pedophile who deserves to be in prison, which is that's a whole other thing on it, on its own is that this director made a trash film. 
This movie didn't get hit the theaters because it was garbage. This was a terrible film. And if I didn't laugh after the first 15 minutes, after hating this movie and then starting to love it because it's so it sucked so bad and you're making fun of it, me and me and Jake was making fun of this movie and we were laughing at how asinine and trash this movie was. And because we got some enjoyment out of this film, is the reason why it went down to number four. Cheapers Creepers 3 is garbage. This would easily be number two if it wasn't so darn funny at being bad. <laughs> Coming in at number three, this movie I don't give it a pass. I don't give it number three a pass at all because it, it stinks. It stinks of, of, of something that none of these movies have on this list. All of these movies are films meant to do something. This film stinks of nothingness. It stinks of lack of effort. It stinks of just because we're having fun behind the camera. Let's get some people together and let's film. It's like that. This movie I heard was made in a week. I heard this movie was made in a week and it looked like it was made in a week because I mentioned that in my movie review. After I mentioned it in my movie review, people came to me and told me how quickly it was and it feels that way. Boo to a Medea Halloween is a garbage movie. And I understand why that YouTuber dude, what's his name, fool's name, uh, FoozyTube was in this movie. Take that paycheck, bro. I feel you, man. This is garbage. FoozyTube looked like he actually was acting in his mother figure because nobody, it doesn't even, I don't even feel like they had a script. I just think they said action. Just come up with something, y'all. We filming it. Oh, okay. Like, the, <laughs> the story made no sense. The characters meant nothing. The direction was terrible because if you, <laughs> you could see, you see people wearing certain things that they shouldn't be wearing. You see things going on in the back that shouldn't be there and stuff. That's because they just rushed this movie. There's nothing more disrespectful than a movie that has no effort because, and no passion. If you're passionate about something and you end up making something trash, at least I give you credit for being passionate, for wanting to make something good in your eyes. This movie is not that. Tyler Perry did not care. He just wanted to say, hey, you know, let's make a movie. <laughs> and I love Tyler Perry, but you getting, a, you getting an L on this one, bro. Hold this L, Tyler Perry, because this shit was trash. Hey, y'all, y'all want to get together and chill and shit? Yeah, let's chill and shit, bro. Hey, bring the camera so we can make a movie real quick. All right, man, bring y'all Hollywood. Stop at Party City and bring y'all Hollywood costumes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I bring my Madea, all right? <laughs> y'all, right, y'all, see y'all. Garbage, <laughs> please, bro. Let me move on, but this she pissing me off. And number two, we have another movie that the whole world expected to be trash at this point. Because if I said that this was the one of the worst franchises ever made 10 years ago, I would have got a lot of hate for it. Now it's popular to hate this franchise. And that sucks that the common people are so stupid. But Transformers The Last Night is number two on my list. This is a garbage movie. And the reason why it's so high on my list is because it's a garbage movie that got like $500 million behind it. That's what really pisses me off. This probably had a freaking $200 million budget, $150, $200 million budget, and another $150 million of marketing. This is a trash film, and Michael Bay doesn't give a shit about these movies. I'm glad Michael Bay is away from this franchise because all he's asked to do is make something that goes boom. You remember my key reference? Where my keys at? The dumb audience. Look, 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 look. Ooh, look, look. A uh, fortune cookie. Want a fortune cookie? You want a good movie? How about a fortune cookie instead? People get distracted by them stupid visuals you can't even see. What a trash movie. Michael Bay is not a bad director. I look forward to him getting away from this trash franchise because it's poison. And I believe this franchise is so bad Whoever helms this franchise is going to have a hard time, and that movie will fail too, because Michael Bay ran it into the ground. He has, he's highly successful, making all that money, but he ran its trust into the ground. The movie sucks. Transformers The Last Night is a garbage film. <sighs> Some of you guys noticed that there's not a movie on this list that you know I've talked about earlier this year. I mean, earlier. This movie took the fan's skull, ripped it off their head, put their cock deep down the throat, then pissed down it. Put the skull, dropped it, kicked the sheet like a soccer ball, and then flaming arrowed it out the sky. This movie took a piss on the fans, on the canon, on the franchise, and people still really don't know it because I've been, I saw this coming from episode seven. Star Wars The Last Jedi is the worst film of 2017 and that's the bottom line. <laughs>
Cause Stone Cold said so. Shout out to Austin 316. This movie got every single character and twisted it the wrong way. How do you get Rey, who actually I loved in episode seven and make her whack? How do you get Kylo Ren, who actually was already whack in episode seven, and then you made him whacker? And then you took a shirt off of him and made him look even weaker. How do you take Luke Skywalker, who had 40 years of epicness behind him, run him into the ground and blow his remains up? How do you mess with what the force is to where it, 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 it just, it makes fun of us for believing the force is a certain way based on the seven movies that preceded it, the six movies that preceded it. Because I noticed that episode seven had, no, they had no idea what the force was even in that. Ray doing mind tricks and shit and she never had training. Learning how to go against a Sith Lord and Kylo Ren who's had training for 15 plus years. <laughs> Miss me. This movie's script was bad. Ryan Johnson is terrible for what he did. And above all else, this movie and these movies suck. These movies, there's a reason why this movie is right next, right above Transformers franchise because it's following down the same footsteps as the Transformers franchise. I'm telling you this right now. Just like I said 10 years ago when Transformers was trash and everybody said, Jody, you're freaking crazy because I was ahead of the curve. And I'm ahead of the curve right now when I say that Star Wars The Last Jedi is the worst Star Wars movie ever made. And I'm ahead of the curve right now when I say that Star Wars, the franchise, is following down the same path as Transformers. Even Mark Hamill said it himself. This movie is like Transformers. They're not here to, they're here to make money. Doesn't matter if it's good or not, as long as they make money. It's all about the spectacle. Star Wars is only popular because it's an event now. Going to see a Star Wars movie is bigger than a movie. It's an event. Oh, you're gonna see Star Wars? Yeah. Whether it's good or not, they're gonna go see it. And that's exactly how Transformers was, wasn't it? Until people stopped going to go see it, especially with the last night. It only made all that money because of overseas. We all know the rest of the world is up behind the curve when it comes to popularity. We're the one who make trends. The rest of the world follows them. When we're done with the trend, they figure that shit out years later. Star Wars The Last Jedi is a trash movie. They did nothing with Leia. The script was, was awful. They, they took Finn and did nothing with him. They added this Asian character to add this Asian character. To, 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 to throw off Finn and, and have them do nothing. Poe was relegated from a, a Han Solo potential type person. This, this weird and crazy and kooky, lovable fighter pilot. And they relegated him to a, 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 a woman's uh, whooping tool. Get in there. Shut up, boy. Shut up. You're demoted. Left him sitting in shit waiting to get coach from some cone cracker. Benicio Del Toro. Wasted. Trash. There's not a single character in this whole movie that had depth that I enjoyed. And let's not talk about Snoke. Let's not talk about the big freak you with Supreme Leader Snoke. Bitch, shut your mouth. You ain't shit. You are officially the worst Sith ever made. Your Darth Maul will wreck your shit entirely. Darth Vader, miss me. Darth Sidious, how dare Ryan Johnson have the nerve to say that Supreme Leader Snoke is darker than Sidious himself. Man, if I had a wet glove with piss on it, I'd slap you across the face with that shit. You need to get slapped for that shit, just off GP. What kind of shit is that to say? Ryan Johnson knows nothing about Star Wars and the overall problem with this franchise is not Ryan Johnson. He's just a puppet who being told what to do. You know who the puppeteer is? She goes by the name of Kathleen Kennedy. Kathleen Kennedy is the worst thing to hit Star Wars since Zack Snyder hit the DCEU. Don't hate me, I'm just keeping it 100. Kathleen Kennedy needs to go. She has to go. These movies are made with no plan. That is a DCEU trait. These movies are being made as they go. That's a Transformer DCEU trait. What's gonna change this? Nothing, unless you get rid of Kathleen Kennedy. She needs to go. George Lucas clearly didn't give a shit about Star Wars. That's why he sold it. And now, you know, I, I understand all this sympathy that George, oh, they're my babies. You know, they're my baby. They're your, they're your orphan babies you didn't give a shit about because you, you sold them. You sold them and then donated like half of the money to some, sh you didn't give a shit about Star Wars. So I can't say, George, help us because you didn't give a shit anyway. So Disney, help yourselves. Kathleen Kennedy is not Kevin Feige. 
You need to find yourself a Kevin Feige for Star Wars. I don't know where they at. I don't know where they're where you can find them, but I know you guys are very resourceful. Disney does amazing things. You need to get Mickey off that. Oh, what's going on? Kathleen, you're missing a whole oh, 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 big bitch, bitch. You need to get rid of her and replace her with someone on the level of a Kevin Feige who actually cares and understands what the Force is and what Star Wars is and what these characters mean to us. Freak this franchise. I'm no longer a Star Wars fan. Thank you guys for watching my top 10 movies. I mean, top 10 worst movies of 2017. Here's to another trash 2018. I'll see you then. I'm Jody Joe and I'm out this thing. Deuces.